Hey everybody, it's Matt Shu and Josh, and we are doing just some random flexibility, mobility things that we do around here. And the reason we're doing them is because of a conversation that Josh had with a, a client that he's training, Mr. Todd. You know who you are. T. Bowman. T. Bowman. The conversation of the century, which they just had this morning. What did you guys talk about, Josh? Oh, so this morning we were talking about a kind of a simple concept, but sometimes I feel like it doesn't get addressed very well, and that is movement versus stagnation, right? So... What we're talking about is if you are putting your body through different movement variations, then it's going to adapt to that, right? But if you're like most people and you are not moving and you are stagnant, then your body's going to adapt to that. Yeah, so this is, this is a principle known as SAID or SAID or specific adaptation to, um, what is it? <laughs> Specifically induced. Like, induced, thank you. <laughs> induced demand. Is it induced? Demand. Anyways, <laughs> SAID. Um, so basically your body basically your body adapts to the things you force it to do. So Makes what's sense. an example of something you couldn't do last year that you can do now? Um, those things that I just did there, the skin the cats. Mm -hmm. Just something that I never tried to do yeah yep. now recently I've tried to do it and I can do it now that's crazy right <laughs> <laughs> so last year actually last year I was able to do this but before last year I wasn't able to do that and this year I can do um, the pancake splits like that really 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 much easier than I've ever been able to do it in my entire life and uh, you've been doing it more I have been doing it more oh. And related to this, um, to head off any questions about this that may be going on in your head right now, I have not actually been getting younger. I have been getting older. Despite that, because I've been imposing this demand, are you sure it's not imposed demand? Imposed. Is it imposed that demand? That sounds a lot, a lot more right, actually. <laughs> okay, so uh, because I've been imposing this demand on myself, um, I've been able to increase my flexibility and my mobility and my control over those positions. So you were having this discussion with Todd, right? Yeah, so these are both things that, in, uh, let's say, majority of people can do. In the realm of possibility. Yes. Yeah. Um, and then, what else can they do? What else can they do? People can probably do the splits. They can probably do the splits. Yeah. People can probably do a lot of things. And they can sit. <laughs> they can sit. So a lot of people can do this, and they do do this. And the problem is really that people don't do much except for this. So if the only demand you're imposing on your body is this, it's really unlikely that you're going to be able to do something like that or like this. Right? Your body adapts to the things that you make it do. And if you're making it do this for 18 hours a day, you're very unlikely to be able to control things like that or like this or push-ups or running, whatever Exactly, because when I get up from this, I'm a lot of the time for most people their body still wants to be there. They've mm -hmm. adapted to that position. So now when I go to try to do movement, I'm still in this seated position in my body, right? right? Now it works in the reverse, I think, as well. If you can do that, what Matt's doing, if you can do this on the bar, then when I go to sit, I might just have better posture, right? My hips might not get glued to this position. My shoulders might not slump forward, right? I might just feel better sitting and be able to sustain some sitting, which other people who don't vary their movement and do other activities are going to become uh, glued down in this position and start to experience some type of dysfunction or pain. 
Yeah, so, you know, that's one of the reasons why we push people to be able to do more things than this, right? If you can handle, you know, lifting a weight that's pretty heavy, if you can handle squatting with weight on your back, it's going to help you feel more comfortable when you get down here because your body is ready to do those harder things. Even if you're not doing the harder thing at the moment, at least your body knows, hey, in a couple hours, Josh might want to make me stand up and then put something on top of us and then move. <laughs> so let's not get too used to this. Yeah. Let's, let's remember what it's like to do the squat. Let's remember what it's like to skin called skin the cat he doesn't actually skin the cat let's remember what it's like <laughs> to skin the cat figurative not literal uh, let's remember what it's like to do a you know a forward fold and a pancake split let's remember what it's like to do those things even if at, in the short term we're just sitting for a little while yeah I think I don't know if we've done a video on it but like you're training to be able to s maintain sitting right, <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah I think we've done one but you know it comes up with clients a lot is this idea that you actually like nobody tells you this but when you get into the working world you actually have to train your body physically to be able to sit for long periods of time um, I have been told that NASCAR drivers those Indy 500 drivers will they do work out um, I'm assuming that helps them sit for however many hours they're in that car yeah. and controlling that car um, I've never seen any footage of you know, really out of shape NASCAR drivers. I think generally they look like they're pretty, <laughs> pretty in control of their bodies, right? Yeah, I think so. Although maybe, maybe you could do it. <laughs> well, you can do anything because your body will adapt to it. That's, so that's true. That's make true. the right choice of what your body is going to adapt to. You heard it here first. So I hope that that uh, that concept helps you helps you guys out. Remember, your body will adapt. You just need to basically teach it, impose the demand teach to do what you want it to do and always uh, blah, blah, always remember that pain sucks life shun it if you liked the video don't forget to like share and comment and don't forget to subscribe